We're going to post one more video here uh, and call it quits for a while. And uh, there's quite a few of them out there. And it'd be nice if somebody else could uh, put some stuff up there and keep the thread going. So um, we're going to do one more. It's kind of short. Uh, we're going to do the intro and the solo for my back pages. We're, we're going to we're going to use the finger picks on this like this, on the thumb, the pointer, and the middle finger. So it's uh, it's uh, it's in the key of E. And I, I just play my E chord the, the regular way. <clears throat> and, and all it is is um, you strike the E and the A note together. And, and that, those will be your four notes. Sir. And as far as I can uh, tell, he's just playing that up to the to the uh, to the uh, to the uh, to the, uh, the third string. He's not uh, putting adding to like the whole E. He's not doing that. So he's just uh, it's just an E chord, and you're adding your pinky finger here and picking up the A on the second string. So it's. And in, in the first, and it, it changes each time. It changes. The first time it just goes. That's the first time. And the second time is. So, like I said, uh, it changes each time. So, uh, it's all it is is an E chord. Just playing the E chord up up to the uh, to the G string. You're not, you're not adding the B and the E. You're not adding them. So uh, it just plays it up there. And, and each time you play it, you add your 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 pinky finger on the uh, A note of the uh, third string at the second fret. So it goes. The chords of the verses, I think everybody would know them, would be E to a C sharp minor to an A flat minor to an A to a B7, then the lick. Then it repeats that. minor, A flat minor, to an A, to a B, then it goes then the chorus, the way I like to do that part is I do the E, Seventh or the B, I'll do the uh, in the B position. I'll just use the uh, the F sharp in the B note and, and have these two notes ringing out. So it gives you this kind of effect. It gives you a nice chimey effect. solo uh it starts at the uh let's see the seventh eighth and this is the ninth fret it's an e note half step whole step e note again to start over the second string 
Whole step. Half step. way to explain that is um is you're just starting on your E note it's and it's it's done on your your third fourth and your second string so it goes up the tempo it goes Like that, and uh, there's also like a little little trick you can do too, too to get like a little sitar effect. I do a lot of times when I play. I hit that S sharp note instead of uh, raising it up to. Uh, instead of instead of going up that half step there, I'll bend it, so it gives you this type of effect. There, it, it sounds like a sitar almost right there. You get it was a little bit too much of a bend. Or you could do it the conventional way. Once again, the intro is just, it, it changes, uh, it, it does it once and it changes again. So you have to uh, listen for the, you go. The first way it goes. That's, that's the first time you play it and the second time goes. into the solo. We'll do the solo one more time slow. Starts at uh, the ninth fret on your E note on the third string. one more time one more time to do up do it up the tempo it goes like this Strokes on that, so up the tempo would be. Nice little solo to play, and I'll use a lot of compression on it too. And also, I'll show you the show you the right hand here. 
so uh I'm just I'm just I'm just using these two fingers here. I'm going see. Basically, it uh, for uh, the My Back Pages intro and uh, solo. Thank you for listening. We'll see you soon.